So today we're coming to you from Island Village Phase 1. We are on Estuary Lake Loop in Phase 1 of Island Village of Celebration. It's December 2023, beautiful sunny day, uh, blue skies. And we are at one of the very few remaining homes left for sale. This one is completely finished. It has been staged and I'm going to show you inside the floor plan. It has 3,441 square foot. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath, and it's priced at $1.399 million. It's uh, completely finished off as we'll show you, but at this price point, it is priced to sell. There's roughly 10 homes, 11 homes left to sell before they're sold out. They have finished roughly 245 homes in phase one. They will be starting phase two in the summer of 2024. So let's take a quick look. As I said before, there's a lot of work still going on, uh, but they should be finished in the next month or so. And the entire phase one of Island Village will be finished. This particular property is known as the Sanibel floor plan with four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's just under 3,500 square foot. And it's very uh, typical of the designs that we have in Celebration. Really nice high ceilings, eight foot doors throughout the property. As we come in, you have this nice powder room. I like these floor tiles over here. Uh, lots of windows, double pane windows for energy efficiency. Uh, these newer construction homes by Matsumi Homes, they do offer all the uh, mod cons. Uh, it's a smart home, so you can control the Wi-Fi thermostats on an app, as well as the uh, front door key access and several other areas. As we come into the front property, we have a nicely staged bedroom. One, two, three windows. And a, that looks like a full size, uh, double size bed. Full on suite. Shaker cabinets with the quartz countertop, uh, nice floor tiles. All these homes are gonna have uh, the showers above the tub inside that we see here. The lights are not on just to show you how much natural daylight comes in. We're at the front elevation with the front porch outside. And this house is in move-in ready condition. Nice understair storage. Huge dining room there. This nice wood plank flooring effect. It's a LVP, luxury vinyl plank flooring, but it does have a grain. Uh, the edges, it feels, it looks just like engineered hardwood floor. Huge breakfast nook here. Lots of windows, lots of additional cabinets. And um, really nice kitchen. Nice large center island with Carrera marble effect quartz. Shaker cabinets. I like these new bronze door pulls that these builders are using now. We've gone back to, it's not the shiny gold as in the old days, but um, this kind of satin antique looking brassware. Kitchen faucet has the same. Nice ceramic butler sink. You've got the kitchen set of KitchenAid stainless steel appliances, fully stainless inside. KitchenAid microwave and oven. These tend to be convection ovens. Oh, for more balanced, easier cooking. Oh, and look at this huge pantry. It's nicely shelved out. And this is something that's really nice. Uh, USB A plugins as well as power receptacles. And this takes us to the air conditioning closet. What's nice about Maxme Homes, they do give you lots of room and space to service. They put a drip tray down there with a, a safety cutout valve. So 
if the coil in future, if it's not been serviced, if you've not been looking after your air conditioning system and the condensation in the coil builds up and starts to uh, drop, it won't damage the floor. It'll go into the drain pan and that, uh, when the sensor there in the drain pan senses uh, moisture, water coming in, it actually turns the power off and of course alerts you to the fact that it needs a service. That's only in uh, situations where it's not being serviced properly. Nice large two car garage, full epoxy floor. Actually, no, I'm sorry, three car garage. So this is what we call a tandem garage. So you'd have one car here in the back, another one to the front, full third car bay there as well. So a three car garage with a two car door entry. Or if you want to park one of those boats, a lot of people do have boats. You can't park them out in the street. They do have to be out of view. Nice high ceilings, by the way. Two windows for natural daylight in the garage. Really nice open plan kitchen with living space and living room. Look at all the windows we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus these four slider doors. Nice backyard. We are on a conservation lot here. And so there would have been a premium. Uh, this is a spec home where the builder has chosen all the finishes. You've got brick paver, lanai in the back, nice garden area, and you could put a pool here, no problem. Look at the sunset there. It's currently uh, 4.25, mid-December, 2023. Beautiful warm day, 74 degrees today here in Island Village of Celebration. So you have block construction, first floor with stucco finish, and then the wood on the second floor with the stucco finish. Completely covered out here, you can have a nice summer kitchen. You can have the remote screen panels that come down if you wish as, uh, as an additional fitment that you would do after you close. Really nice layout, nicely staged as well by the, by the builder. Wi-Fi connect, which is nice. Then downstairs, wow, look at the size of this walk-in closet. This is huge. In Europe, this is what we call a bedroom. Seriously, it's, uh, it's immense. So this will be with the tray ceiling up there. This will be the uh, primary bedroom in the home. Large king size bed, ample room for nightstands. Very bright, two windows. You've got the French door leading out to the, the back. You've got the side window up there. And very large ensuite bathroom. I like these floor tiles. Again, lots of daylight, huge mirror, dual sinks, comfort height cabinets. Oh, and a double entry shower. Look at this. So you have shower on the right and the left, rain head there, a valve one, valve two, second rain head there. And then you've got a really nice size um, closet in here, a linen closet. Normally they're just about one foot deep. This is about three if not four foot deep. Obviously you've got the anchor up there for the ceiling fan above your bed. You've got the high hats. Window blinds are the only thing that needs to be finished. That's something you would personalize yourself as the owner. And then you have a really nice size laundry in here with the upper cabinets, the butler stainless steel sink. And let me point out in the kitchen, because we are in Island Village, I always point this out, is we have what is um, very envious in the rest celebration. We have natural gas, a natural gas stove, five pot burner. Typically, if you want gas in the older parts of celebration, you do need to run your own propane tank. And then they run a line that comes into the house that connects to the propane gas stove. This is a natural gas stove in Island Village. So you have the electric ovens, the microwave, the fridge freezer that would go there, and then your gas cooktop. 
Let's go upstairs. You've got the same matching vinyl flooring that looks like wood. Very durable if you have pets, young children dropping drinks, food on the floor. Uh, very hardy and waterproof. Nice size loft area. It's the second living room, so you can see up here you've got all the connections ready for your large flat screen TV. This would pipe all the cables down so you'd have a furniture piece at the bottom with all the, the games and the consoles. You've got the bug screens fitted down on the second window. So these windows are all designed to be open, allow the fresh air to come in, especially now in the cooler months where we have no more humidity. It's an absolute pleasure to have our windows open. These are nice, more modern, transitional type banisters. And then we have one of the upstairs bedrooms. You've got a, a, a bench there. View to the front. How big are these closets? Yeah. Decent sized closet. I like these shelves they use here. Nice and sturdy wood shelves. And then you've got the, the hanging rack. You've got your second air conditioning system for upstairs. Again, same design. You've got the drip pan with a safety cutout switch, easy access to change the filters. Um, you've got an additional safety cutout valve here. Not that you're too many people interested in that, but uh, all the issues I find in air conditioning systems are simply because people are not servicing, changing their filters regularly um, and never have them maintained Wi-Fi connected thermostat. You can control that from anywhere on your phone. Very deep size closet upstairs for storage, linens. And then you've got a nice size family bathroom up here. Same matching tiles as downstairs. Comfort height cabinets, same marble effect quartz. Then you've got your bath, fully tiled to the ceiling, shower, it's a nice size soaking tub. The commode. And this opens up into the bedroom as well. So you've got two doors opening into that bathroom. One to give you the ensuite to the bedroom that we're in and also one that can be shared by the loft area. So this bedroom has a walk-in closet. Again, finished off with the wooden shelves. You can see all the styles of architecture. You've got traditional, colonial, Mediterranean, single story, two story. Every house looks quite different to the next. I mean, you could easily, uh, a lot of builders would have offered the option to make this into a fourth bedroom upstairs or to have this very nice size open loft. Uh, most families with kids would love this space upstairs, completely separate from the downstairs area. A second living area, TV room, homework room, play center, playroom. So again, family dining room, breakfast room, kitchen area living area very very open plan and then the primary uh, bedroom over there looking out onto the backyard it's nicely fenced with a privacy fence so if you had dogs or very young children you'd feel safe to let them out um, and they're contained in your own backyard If you'd like to see this home, it probably won't last much longer. As I said, there's only 10 or 11 homes left in their inventory. Uh, most of the houses under construction now will be finished in the next month or so. This one is the only house that's moving ready and finished. It's priced at 1.399 million. The builder is offering many incentives now as we approach the end of December 2023. 
And so please do text me, email me, call me if you'd like to see this house. If you'd like a private tour, I can meet you here on, over FaceTime, over WhatsApp. Always appreciate if you can subscribe, hit the like button and look forward to any questions. Please do ask me any questions in the comments. I've been in celebration over 20 years. Uh, these new homes here are relatively new to us in the last year, but it's such a pleasure to see all the energy efficiency of new construction homes, the latest type of floorings that you wouldn't see in the older parts of celebration. Very nice high ceilings, the double pane windows, uh, the smart home features. Yeah, very, very nice. Thank you very much for watching. We will now tour the uh, phase one area, the amenity center, the clubhouse, and show you what's literally on your doorstep, a short walk or a two to three minute drive. Thanks for watching.